Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in my video, I want to show you how I took a regular poster and built it into a frame. Stay tuned and we'll show you how it's done. One, two, three, come on! The first thing I did was roll out the poster on top of a 1 4th inch NDF board and measured the length by the width and marked it so that I knew what size to cut out on the table saw. These measurements will vary depending on what size your poster is. I then brought my 1x2 select pine framing material over to the table and marked with a pencil the inside edges of what I needed. Then proceeded to take it over to the chop saw and cut a 45 degree angle on each end. Then I used that piece as a template to cut out another piece so that it would be the exact same size. And this would make the top and the bottom of my frame. I then proceeded to mark and measure my two sides and cut two equal pieces of that also at the chop saw. So now I have all of my pieces cut and so I'm just doing a dry fit to make sure I've got nice flush mitered corner and that everything is squared up nicely. I took my leftover one by two and I cut two equal pieces that are the same width as my poster and it's gonna go on the bottom and the top of my frame and it's gonna be the backing where my poster will lay. After that comes the glue up. I went ahead and used wood glue to glue all the corners together and then secured it with just some brad nails and also made sure to check for square in my corners. Once the frame was all put together, I grabbed some spackling and filled the little nail holes and then after that I did a little sanding around the whole frame uh, with a 220 grit paper. At this point, I did another dry fit just to make sure that my poster board was going to fit nicely inside. Um, I didn't secure my poster board to the frame. I plan on using some magnets so that I can take the picture in and out and use the frame later on. Um, but if you do want to attach your poster to the frame, you can always use wood glue and glue to those support pieces in the back of the frame. I would also recommend finishing your frame with a stain and a clear coat. I am not doing that right now because I am going to redesign my kids room and I'm not sure what color I want to do at this point, but would definitely recommend to finish that. So to be honest, I really wasn't happy with the process that I used to attach the poster to the board and I'll try to explain why. Um, I brought it inside and I took some black paint and I painted around the edges. That way, if there was anything that wasn't quite square to my poster, then you wouldn't be able to see the wood behind. 
Um, then I proceeded to put my poster onto the MDF board with Mod Podge. And I'm not a pro with Mod Podge. I'm sure it can be done very well, but I am still learning and I wasn't quite happy with the results. Um, one thing that I will suggest is to make sure you use thin layers of Mod Podge because if you put too much, you're going to end up with some bubbles in your poster and that's never fun. I also thought maybe it would work to use double-sided tape. Um, I might try that next time or I might just try to master the Mod Podge. I don't know. Um, however, I did use spring clamps to clamp down the edges and it also left an indent where the spring clamps were. I ended up removing those and you can't really tell now, but would not recommend that. It's not necessary. Uh, the Mod Podge is enough to secure the poster to the board. The spring clamps, totally unnecessary. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the end result. My son loves it, which is great. I think next time I may try some double-sided tape. And if not, then I think I'll just make sure to not use as much Mod Podge and to do smaller sections so that I can hopefully end up with a smoother surface in the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned from my mistakes. Thank you for watching.